collecting a cartridge for hunting in Africa. A lot of people have different opinions. Oh gosh, yeah. When uh, when my wife was coming on her first safari, she works in a coal mine, in an office in a big coal mine. So yeah. almost everybody there's a hunter. Okay. And they asked her, they said, well, what, oh, they was all excited. You know, right. you're going to Africa, what cartridge are you going to take? She said, I don't know. So she come <laughs> home and asked me. And I told her, so she goes back to work and they come in. She said, I'm taking a 243. And they're like, what is, I thought your husband was a gun writer and knew stuff about rifles. <laughs> she killed a Gims buck and a blue wildebeest and an impala, all with one shot yeah. oh, with man. a 243 Winchester. Yeah. Oh, but great. the thing about cartridges is people dislike them and like them for reasons that don't really have any bearing on ballistics or anything yeah, yeah. else. My grandpa didn't like it, or my dad always exactly. shot it, and exactly. I've always used this one, so it's the best, even though they've not tried others. Yeah. And I think a lot of those arguments and opinions come from people that <clears throat> maybe haven't shot a lot of different things with a lot of different cartridges. Well, I'm sure some of it does. It's, it's hearsay. But I think the important point is what you said about that 243 is it worked. Yeah. And everyone has this idea they've got to have a 375 H&H &H Magnum at minimum, right? Because African animals are so tough. Yeah, yeah, they're so tough. I haven't found that to be the case, by the way. Oh. It, it still comes down to putting the bullet in the right place and then having a bullet that's going to expand, disintegrate, or whatever to create hemorrhaging. Yeah, because mm -hmm. it's about blood loss. It's a, always about blood loss. There's too many guys think it's this knockdown energy stuff that's doing all the work. That's a, that's a part of it, but if you don't have the cutting effect, the tearing effect, the destruction of the tissues so that you get the hemorrhaging. You gotta make them bleed. You gotta make them bleed. Right? So if you if, if you were coming to Africa and just Plains Game Safari, mm -hmm. I mean we got a wide selection of cartridges here, which one would you bring? Or would you care? I really wouldn't because I've pretty much used all of these and they all work. So my theory is why put up with the recoil and the weight of a big rifle and a big cartridge if you don't need it? Mm -hmm. And you don't need the 416 to take even Eland. I've taken right. Eland with 140 grain bullets out of a 7 rem mag. Mm -hmm. My wife has shot a lot of stuff with the 7 millimeter 08 and uh, the 308. Mm -hmm. So why should we mess around with more weight and recoil than we really need to? Yeah, now there is an argument if you're a one, one rifle guy mm -hmm. and you're going to do planes game and maybe buffalo, 416 or 375. 375. The right. issue I have with both of those is they, they right. kick hard. And you can call me a wuss if you want, but the harder a gun kicks, the less well you will shoot it. Sure. Well, if you have to have a minimum, in many areas you do. They're not going to let you hunt buffalo with a 30 out right. six, probably not that it couldn't do the job, but you'd want something big. So you've got to have a two-gun safari. And what my wife and I have done is she brings a light one, I bring a heavy one, and then we can swap out if we need to or want to. Yeah, and well, that's, out that's a great plan. And But just looking down this list, you know, the first cartridge here we have, is a 6.5 Creedmoor. Yeah, you're going to get a lot of static for that one. Well, and people love it or hate it. Sure, but, but it works. But it works. I mean, I've taken moose with it. I've taken kudu with it. Yep. Black bear, caribou, coyotes. I mean, what, what more could you ask from a cartridge? Right. If you, as long as you get the right bullet on that thing. Now, I've been hunting with this 6.5 over here and using it for warthogs. Um, you, anything up to... Well, like you said, if you're taking a moose, the world's biggest deer, you're pushing a thousand pounds. Yeah. And the eland's pushing 1,800, world's largest antelope. I don't think you're not going to get an eland. We've taken them with 708s. Why not just a little bit lighter bullet with that 6.5 Creedmoor? Yeah, and the next cartridge. 708? Yeah, 708, 757. It's the same. It's the same thing. And the 757's been a, a star in Africa since 1900. They're just wearing different dresses. Yeah. It's all the difference. Essentially, and the 280 Remington, too. You want a yep. long action, you like a 30 out 6 or 270 or 280, they're all going to do the job with the right bullet. Yeah, and the funny thing about lists, you, you, you set these cartridges down, somebody was saying, well, the 30 out 6 wasn't in there. The 30 out 6 and the 308, they do the same thing. Yeah. So if you want if you want to substitute it for that, that's fine. I don't sure, care. Sure, sure. I mean, I've hunted the 30 out 6 a lot. In fact, last year I was over here with a 30 out 6. My wife one shot on an eland, right through the shoulders, with a 30 out six, and killed it just as dead as she'd been using a 416 or a 470 Nitro Express. Yep, and maybe the one of the most classic. Uh, 300 wind mag. 300 right wind mag. Yeah. yeah, that really is a do it all for everything but buffalo. Yep. Some of the first hunts I did over here, I did take a, a 300 wind mag and was perfectly happy with it. The recoil isn't brutal, trajectory is extremely flat yep. if you need it, and if you're in heavy, thick brush, it'll do just fine too got such a variety of bullets you can use. Of course, you could do the same thing with a out 6 or anything else that shoots a 308 bullet. Yep. And I think that's what people forget. They think it's all about the powder reservoir and the horsepower rather than the bullet. Now, there's a lot of other things, and especially with like the Creedmoor, you got the twist rate 
makes it a little better than the 260 Remington. Yeah. And you get people say, well, the 30 out six shoots heavier bullets than the 308. Well, I don't know anybody that's hunting with 220 grain bullets. Right. Yeah. But listen, we're, we've taken the easy way out. We've lined all these cartridges up, and we say they all work. Mm -hmm. you, you're going to have to pick one. <sighs> you know, I really don't. That 280, the 757 for classic. I mean, I like classic Africa. To me, Africa hunting is as much about the romance and the heritage and the tradition as it is in ballistic performance. So I just get an extra kick, right? Like I'm doing this trip. I'm shooting a Model 10 Dakota mm -hmm. and 757 miles. And that harks back to Salou with his bar cars and yep. rifle. You know, and it's that extra challenge of one shot and make it count. And it's just fun to carry that sweet looking little rifle that's so light and trim. I'm telling you, I got to go a little more modern. Yeah. 308. 308. A, a gun writer, a great gun writer once told me the 308 is great. <laughs> what can you not do with a 308? It's a 30 six. It's a it's a shorter, better version of a 30 out six. Yeah, I'm I'm not a big fan of the 308, but I know what you're saying. You know, you're absolutely right. It will do the job. And um, there's so many rifles to choose from if you're getting ready to buy a rifle. Oh gosh, yeah. Everything, everything comes in a 308. Absolutely. I would defer if you're gonna go with a short action like that, I would pick the 708 over the 308, but there's such a little difference between the two. Yeah, well, I don't like the 708. You don't like it? No. Yeah. So. And everybody wants to know why. Why don't you like that cartridge? It doesn't matter why you don't like it. Yeah, it's just your choice. All of these will work. It's kind of how we started. Yeah, and the thing about it is, you gotta be able to shoot. Uh-oh. Right? Now there's a challenge. But that gets us right back to the recoil issue. If you're comfortable shooting the old deer rifle and it's a 308 or a 708 or even a 243, take it to Africa. It's all about the bullet and where you park it. Yep. Don't make the mistake of buying a Super Magnum coming over here and botching all your shots. Yep, it's all about the shot. It's all about the shot. For more information on firearms, ballistics, optics, and hunting, subscribe to Ron Spomer Outdoors' YouTube channel and check out our informative and entertaining website, ronspomeroutdoors.com. Don't forget, hunt honest and shoot straight.